Welcome to the another part of book shopping cart series. We are creating this project in .NET 7 MVC and this project contains the sum of the modules of e-commerce projects like displaying products, managing shopping cart and displaying user panel with his orders. And it is not the first video of this series. If you haven't seen other videos, you can check out this playlist. If you don't know me, my name is Ravindra and I'm your instructor for this course. So let's move ahead in this lesson. Okay, so before moving further, actually, I want to add one more field in this order status table that I kind of forget. So it should be an integer type value and let's name it int status id status id and it also will be a not nullable field in the database we have to put a required here okay now we have added a new field in database then we have to run a migration command so let's add let's run those migration command add migration okay it should have a name so let's name it added status status code in order status it's kind of long and bad name but it's okay okay so our project is building and my system is a kind of slow these days so it takes extra time okay i guess it will take a little more time okay now we are fine so where i have typed okay so let's type here update database that's fine okay now i want to do one more thing i know most of the guys will say hey please why didn't you add a uh, role management in this project so let's add the role management for that what we have to do we have to go here in the area section go here in the pages in the account section and let's go there in register page register.cshtml.cs page okay so let's go there inside this post method okay where it is on post async it is here All right, it is here so we have to add some code here but before that let's let's create a folder and name it constants constants let's add a enum file inside it so let's add a class and let's name it rules okay now we can remove this and let's create a public enum rules first rule will be user and another rule will be admin okay then we will have only these two rules okay now we will move here when user is successfully created and we will add this user to the role so we are gonna write here 
user manager dot add to role async and it is asking us a user so pass it a user and pass it a rules so let's add here rules this rules dot user dot to string that's it and i guess it's a async type then we have to write here a wait okay so this line adds role to the user so i'm writing here adding assigning role to user okay that's it okay now what we have to do we have to seed the roles which is user and admin to the database now our roles table are empty in the database so we have to add those roles in the database so for that what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna add a class inside this so dbc let's name it dbc something like that okay and let's create a method public static static void seed default data okay and let's create a parameter of I service provider service provider service so let's type here where user mgr equals to service dot get service user manager okay user manager and and this user manager should have a type it would be an identity user i guess okay, let me check here inside that where it is our area area pages registration let's see what we are passing here okay so this is user manager identity user okay so that's fine now we will have a role manager role manager it will be a role manager and it will be a identity role so this service is used for creating user and managing user and this service is used for managing role now we are adding some roles to db okay so we will write here role manager dot add role manager dot it should be like create async if it is async then here we should add oh wait it will be new sorry new identity role and what was that constant no that was roles press control dot here and okay so let's type here using microsoft dot row sorry not microsoft what is the name of project book shopping cart okay it is a very long name 
dot constants rules dot admin dot to string okay and let's add this thing again or this line again let's change it to user okay right now it is yelling me because to string is a method i guess it should not yell at me now okay why it is saying then the weight operator can only used with async method okay public static async task okay now we are good now let's create a default admin record so let's type here create admin user okay, so where admin equals to new identity user and it will have a username equals to admin at the rate gmail.com and it will have the same email equals to admin at the rate gmail.com email confirm equals to true phone number confirm let's say phone number confirmed equals to true okay i guess phone number confirmation is not needed now let's find is user exist let's find is this user exist in database so we will find the user manager dot find by email async uh okay find by email async it should be a await here and user or uh, admin dot email so if this user exists then we will we can't enter it into database but if is user does not exist okay i have put a negation sign here so keep that thing is in mind now we will write if user does not exist in database then user await user manager user mgr dot create async admin it is a user and here we will pass a password so admin at the rate one two three it is our password okay now we will write here await user mgr dot add to rule async and it should be a user and the role which will be roles dot admin dot to string okay if user does not exist okay it is if user is not null sorry if user is null that's it if user exists in database does not exist in database so it should be user in db user in db Okay, now let's open the program.cs file and let's go here. So type here 
using using var a var scope equals to builder dot services not builder app app dot services dot create scope okay so let's open this and why are why are we doing this because because of scope if you remove this line okay i will explain it later so let's add it db seeder dot seed default data and it is asking us a service so we will write here scope dot service provider okay and let's type here wait now we are good so if i put this line outside this scope then it will give us an error that you cannot do is in the same scope so create a separate scope for that so that's why i have created this separate scope okay so that's it here now what we will do we will call we will run this project and it will automatically seed these values for us so that's it and okay that's fine and we can seed some more values for us we will okay that is fine we will not do it here let's run this project first and let's do the things step by step otherwise it will become more complex so we have error here so let's track what is that error so let's pray it let's put a breakpoint here and stop this project so this role is coming from here admin equals to one dot two string new identity role okay so i don't know what is error but we have to go inside the constant fields so here it should be one because if we do not assign any value to it it will be a zero you can see it here and we do not want to assign zero to it that's it okay i guess it's not related to this error we have to track this error meanwhile okay now the breakpoint has hit so let's go here let's go here so user manager and role manager user manager is coming null so we have to look at this okay the role manager is coming null sorry that's why we are getting an error here i guess we have a problem here so let's close this thing and here if i put it here comma let's see what it is asking us so add default identity okay so let's configure this thing let's change it to add identity that's fine now we can add rule to it so identity rule that's it so here and we can add some other like add entity framework stores it is present here that's fine let's add add default ui and add default token providers okay i guess we are good to go okay so let's move to next next 
and yeah now we are getting the instance of role manager now this role will be added to database done and it is also done now it is going to create a user and add that user to the role okay so now we are good we are good okay so this thing has done now what we have to do here let's comment this code this code so this code will be used only one time now we have created an admin we do not need to admin in this project okay so let's close this dbc dog guy now how to test that we are logged in with we are logged in with admin so what we are gonna do we are going to go here let's test this thing okay so let's go here into the layout.cshtml page and here we will have something like ASP parcel login parcel okay so where is it we have this home etc etc we have this parcel page so let's move that parcel page it should be here in share section and here login parcel okay so let's see that okay here here we are getting that hello and the name of user so here we will just do a little check we will check if user dot is in role admin then please display here display this span here and it will say admin okay so let's run this thing so let's log in with with the normal user and let's create a normal user because we have changed a little functionality there so let's create a john at the rate gmail.com it is our normal user let's add a password that's fine let's create it okay it is taking some time okay now click here to confirm well, let's log in so john at the red gmail.com two three that's it please remember me okay now we have logged in with john and we are not seeing here that admin text here so it is not admin okay so let's log out let's log in again with admin rights so here is our admin user that we have created okay admin at the red one two three that was our password okay so here we can see this admin thing here now we are logged in with admin here that's it now we have successfully applied our authentication and authorization in this project now what we will do next we will change this ui a little bit and add a little bit design with the help of bootstrap in this project okay we will move further in the next lesson so see you later